welcome back to our channel in today's video we are going to see how can we solve the issue of update browser screen in creative cloud packager creative cloud packager is a tool which is used for deployment of adobe products over multiple machines by the admin of an enterprise so if you are an enterprise of or a team's customer for creative cloud this video is for you so let's get started all uh, sorry downloaded on my machine I'm not going to show how to download it. So you can download it from the admin console and uh, you must have the access to admin console only if you are a Creative Cloud Enterprise customer or the team's customer. So I'll quickly extract the contents of this. So in this video, what we are going to uh, see is uh, how to solve the update browser screen on the sign-in screen when you try to launch the Creative Cloud package. Okay. So here's the setup, I'll just run it quickly. So this is now installing the Creative Cloud packet on my machine. So while the installation takes place, what I'll do is I'll show you that uh, there's an article also which uh, gives you the proper steps on how to solve this problem. Installation is going to take a while. Why is not the Google Chrome launching? Let me check in the task manager. The machine is slow today. The task branch is also not responding last in the good thing. Okay. Google Chrome. I think it could launch at any time. Let's see. All right. It launched. Okay, so I have the link copied on my clipboard, so I'll just paste it over. I'll share this link on the in the description of this video. All right. So this is the this is the article actually, which uh, gives you the steps on how to resolve the issue. So if you want to uh, look at this article, you can also. Uh, pause this video and go have uh, and look at this link. So what we are going to do is we are going to uh, see what's the steps. So uh, what used to happen is before uh, before this issue started to appear, there was a warning message by Adobe that uh, we need to install the latest updates to Windows or the Adobe apps. Otherwise, this will not work anymore. And there was a learn more link which used to give more details about this issue. So. Uh, but now, but now, what happens is you don't see this warning. You see simply a blocking dialog that you need to update your browser or the Adobe apps. So what's the solution to this? So solution is to quit the package, download this particular file, and place it this place this particular file at this particular location. So in at this location, you'd already find a file with the same name. You'll have to rename that. Okay. So, sorry. I'll just complete what are the steps. So. This is, if you replace this file and relaunch the package, this should solve the problem. So let's see if it does or not. So going back to the Creative Cloud package, accepting the EULA. So here you can see both the options. So if you're a Teams customer, you can go for the Teams. If you're an Enterprise customer, you can go for an Enterprise. I'll demo it for Enterprise for now, but uh, the problem is same in both the cases. The solution is same for, for both the options. So, when I click on the click for enterprise, it should take you to the sign-in screen. But uh, what we'll see is there will be a blocking dialog saying that I need to update my browser. 
So many of the customers are facing this issue these days. And let's see. Okay, let me solve that. First, let's see the screen. Yeah. So here it is. So this is the screen which you might be facing when you're trying to launch the Creative Cloud Packager on a new machine or, or even in an older machine where you're not signed in already. If you're already signed in, you might not see the screen because the screen is only shown when you are required to sign into the Creative Cloud Packager. All right, so it says that your browser or system is no longer supported. You may need to install the latest updates for your system. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll just quit this call. Okay, quit. I'll download this file. So here it is. I'll go to my download folder, extract the contents of it, extract all, extract. So here's the file. I'll copy it quickly. Copy. Now I need to go to this particular folder. This is program eight six common files at OB, WB, P tap, P7. All right. So I go to C, program eight six common files, Adobe, WB, P tap, P7. So as you can see, there's already a file with the same name as uh, we have copied. So what you can do is you can either rename the, this file to something like old, or you can simply delete this file and paste the new one. So this needs the administrator, right? So I'll click continue. So I have it over here. I can also delete it if, if, it, if I want. So I'll simply delete it because if that's no longer required and that doesn't work also. So it's no use of it over here. Okay, I close the browser, I close it. Now let's, because my Creative Cloud package is already so I don't need to run the setup again. I'll simply close this. Go to my programs, and here's the latest install. We can be added, so I click on the Creative Cloud package again, and relaunch it. Let's see if the problem is solved or not. So now again, if I click on create a plot for enterprise, it should take me to the sign in screen, not to the blocking screen. So here we go. So as you can see that uh, using the steps which were in the article, I was able to solve the problem. I was able to uh, bypass that blocking screen and get to the sign in screen. So this is how we can actually solve this creative cloud packager and use creative cloud packager to create uh, and uh, create new packages for Adobe products and deploy it on multiple machines without having to sign in and install on independent machines. I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.